Times Influence. With a aim to establish people-to-people -people connect, Fiki organized the fourth India ASEAN Expo and Summit 2019. The objective of the summit was to promote trade and investment in the ASEAN region and India. The India-ASEAN Business Fair provides a platform to the government, stakeholders and industrialists to come together and enhance efforts of sustaining momentum of trade and investment in the region. The fourth India-ASEAN Expo and Summit was attended by the leaders of India and the ASEAN region. It is indeed my privilege to welcome the ministers from ASEAN, the ASEAN Secretary General and the heads of delegation on the occasion of the 4th India ASEAN Expo and Summit. On behalf of Ministry of Commerce and Industry, I also extend my heartfelt welcome to all the distinguished delegates from ASEAN and the esteemed members of industry and trade from ASEAN and India who have joined us on this occasion to work towards further deepening the trade and economic relationship between India and the ASEAN in our endeavor to co-create a bright future for our ties. Leaders of the ASEAN region shared their thoughts on building relationships with India and what kind of opportunities are available if India and the ASEAN come together. Recently, I have noticed that by the implementation of the Look East policy of the government of India, the central government as well as state level of India have been increasingly playing active roles in promoting ASEAN-India partnership as well as business cooperation by organizing a lot of meetings, seminars, expo and summit, which are opportunities to, for businessmen uh, from both regions to discuss about the possibility of doing business together. So, Lao government support and promote, uh, support promotion of trade and investment between ASEAN and India. I do hope that Indian businessmen will seek this opportunity for doing uh, their business in Laos. Ten years from now, ASEAN will provide the opportunity to be in the forefront of digital economy. We will be seeing substantial transformation in the way businesses is conducted in the region, I understand that plenary session for that will be held tomorrow and deliberate on this topic will certainly be uh, relevant. And certainly ASEAN and India can do more to collaborate and tap on these opportunities. ASEAN and India are among the most dynamic economies in the world. Together, ASEAN and India comprise a market of almost 1.8 billion people and have a combined GDP of 3.8 trillion US dollars. ASEAN is now India's fourth largest trading partner. There are many complementary sectors between us, agriculture, textile, manufacturing and infrastructure. Events such as the ASEAN India Expo and Summit serve to bring our countries and our businesses ever closer. At present, ASEAN is intensifying her efforts to make a truly one ASEAN community in the three fields. Such effort will not be succeeded without the contribution and support of all ASEAN foreign partners, including India. This forum is an opportunity for ASEAN member states and India to openly discuss and share experience and initiatives to tap the potential in promoting cooperation in areas like small and medium enterprises, IT, renewable energy, 
and blue economy, and set our orientation for furthering the trusted and strategic partnership between ASEAN and India. With that positive note, I wish ASEAN-India relationship a brighter and more prosperous shared future. Thank you very much for your attention. The delegates also released the publication of India ASEAN co-creating the future. The relationship between ASEAN and India nonetheless stretch back far beyond this. Our ties are also nurtured by our deep link in religion, culture, art, language, and literature. India just only account for 2.9% of total ASEAN trade and 1.3% of total ASEAN inward foreign direct investment. There are still immense opportunities that both sides can work on and capitalize. This Indian ASEAN Expo Summit offers us another platform to strengthen our existing cooperation and unearth the untapped economic potential between ASEAN and India. Since 1992, ASEAN-India relations have progressed significantly and expanded to cover a wide range of areas across political, security, economic, social, cultural cooperation. Our collective commitment to promoting peace, stability, and prosperity in the region is shared strategic vision and cornerstone of ASEAN-India relations. We must redouble our efforts to follow up the visions of our leaders as outlined in the Delhi Declaration and the informal breakfast summit last year. ASEAN-India FTA brings strategic gains to both ASEAN and India. In 2017, the, two, the total two ways trade was recorded at a 73.59 billion, an increase of 25.5% from the previous years of 58.6 billion. During the same period, foreign direct investment, FDI, flows from India to ASEAN increased from 1.47 billion US dollars in 2015 to 1.73 billion in 2017 based on ASEAN trade and FDI statistics database. Today, India is a 2.6 trillion US dollar economy, and ASEAN is a 3 trillion US dollar economy. Combining all together, we stand 7% of total world's GDP. However, by 2050, India will be the second largest economy in the world and Indonesia will be the fourth. Combining ASEAN and Indian economies, our GDP will be 27% of total world's GDP. This scenario can only be achieved with the assumption that we manage our trade and investment openness such that to allow our economies to grow. This exposure and summit will serve as an excellent platform for enhancing awareness, creating networks amongst our uh, business communities and uh, promoting economic and trade and uh, social relations among our region. I do believe that the Indian ASEAN Export and Summit offers an opportunity uh, to governments, stakeholders, industry uh, to capitalize and enhance effort of uh, stimulating momentum of uh, trade and investment in this region. India ASEAN represents fast-moving economies. The global headwinds have caused the softening of the global growth from 3.1% to 3% in 2019. And yesterday, I was reading with concern that WTO now says that it might even slow down further. The developed economies like US, EU, and Japan are stated to grow at 2.5% to 2% and 1.4% respectively in 2019. According to the recent published United Nations World Economic Situation and Prospect Report 2019, India and ASEAN are set to outpace the global growth. India continues to be 
the fastest growing major economy and expected to grow at 7.2% in 2019 and ASEAN at 5.2% with many economies within ASEAN with a growth more than 6%. CLMV countries in ASEAN are also on a higher growth trajectory. This is indeed a manifestation of the new emerging world economic order, wherein India and ASEAN acquire a significant place. I invite all my friends, the delegates, to use this forum and plenary sessions over the next two days to forge mutual collaboration. The fourth Indian India ASEAN Expo and Summit has brought eminent political leaders and captains of industry together to reinforce the India ASEAN partnership and to work jointly to realize the full potential of India, India ASEAN engagement on the foundation of India's Act East policy. The address by the dignitaries on the dais has set a befitting tone to the deliberations that will follow over the next two days that will help us create a roadmap for India and ASEAN to co-create the future. After the break, we get you more glimpses from the 4th India ASEAN Expo and Summit. The 4th India ASEAN Expo and Summit is one of the landmark events where all stakeholders come under one roof to find out the opportunities and to explore new areas of collaboration between India and ASEAN. Two days of the Expo and Summit saw power-packed sessions, business meetings and discussions on the opportunities in India and the ASEAN market. Honourable Home Minister of India attended the valedictory session. We believe that trade and investment will be relevant only if it caters to the aspirations of the people. We also believe that trade and investment not only brings about economic growth alone, it brings in prosperity. We believe that common thread running through our aspirations is shared prosperity. Shared prosperity is the key to our future. And that has been the spirit behind organizing the fourth India ASEAN Expo and Summit. We have a host of distinguished speakers on dais. Without further ado, let me welcome you all to this valedictory session. Thank you. It is my privilege on behalf of the Government of India to be with you and thank you for joining the concluding session of a very productive and interactive fourth India ASEAN Expo and Summit over the past two days. India has always accorded the highest importance to working closely with ASEAN on all fronts. At the end of these two days, today I am doubly confident that, can, that we can build quickly and significantly on the progress achieved in the past few years and realize the full potential of our partnership to bring greater peace, progress and prosperity to our people and the entire region. As various speakers in this forum have highlighted, the global economy is predicted to slow down from 3.1% in 2018 to 3% in 2019. The developed economies like the US, the EU and Japan are slated to grow at a slower pace ranging from 1.4% to 2.5%. However, I'm happy to note that India and the ASEAN are expected to grow at 7.2% and 5.2% respectively, with the countries in the CLMV region growing above 6% in 2019. This is a clear indicator of the growing relevance and emergence of the India-ASEAN relation and the India-ASEAN bloc. It is encouraging that 67 WTO members, among them many of the countries here presented, agreed at the annual meeting of the World Economic Forum in Davos at the end of January, agreed to start negotiations on e-commerce. It is clear, however, that these and other negotiations on 21st century trade issues 
will be very difficult and will most likely require some painful compromises. Therefore, WTO members now expressing a commitment to engage in new negotiations should perhaps ask themselves how useful the result of such negotiations will be if there is no longer a functional WTO dispute settlement system to ensure rules-based compliance with the newly agreed rights and obligations. How useful are international agreements in a world in which might and only might is right? Thank you. Our shared future will be further shaped by the fourth industrial revolution. Digitalization is now the single most important driver of change. It will shape the way we live, work, and interact. ASEAN and India are in a good position to benefit from the new opportunity that arise from the digital economy. ASEAN internet economy is fast growing and is limited to reach 200 billion by 2025. However, the fourth industrial revolution does not bring about opportunities alone, but also challenges ranging from structural constraint to policies issue. It is important for us to work together to find appropriate response to these challenges. The India and ASEAN both represent an aspirational world and international trade is relevant as long as it fulfills the aspiration, uh, aspirations of our people. We believe in long-term sustainable mutual relation uh, that commit us towards shared progress and prosperity. This is an opportune moment for, the, for both ASEAN and India to revitalize our economy and trade relations. India GDP is expected to grow at 7.3% in the fiscal year 2018-19 and average 7.5% in 2019-20. India continues to be the fastest growing major economy in the world, while ASEAN is projected to grow at 5.2% in 2018, driven by robust, robust export growth. Over the past decade, trade and investment relations between India and ASEAN have continued to improve. Total bilateral trade has increased more than threefold from 21 billion US dollar in 2005-06 to $81.33 billion in 2017-18. ASEAN has emerged as the second largest trade partner of India in 2017-18, with a share of 10.58% in India's overall trade. India believes in rule-based, fair, transparent, inclusive, and mutually beneficial trade arrangements. I am sure you agree that India and ASEAN are today uniquely positioned to tap unexplored potential in every aspect of economic engagement. And we must now look far ahead and strategize well for future dividends. Friends, I am confident that India and ASEAN would continue to march with their economic success story. ASEAN is a projected to grow at an average 5% in 2018, driven by private consumption, MS low inflation, strong investments, particularly in public infrastructure, and robust exports, exports growth. India's GDP is expected to grow 7.3% in the fiscal year 2018-19. 7.5% in 2019 and 20. India continue 
as Mr. Chaudhary apprised you, to be the fastest growing economy of the world, both India and ASEAN should make maximum use of their partnership. We commemorated the 25th anniversary of the Indian ASEAN relationships last year, but our links go back to centuries. Trade routes, relationships, cultures build the ASEAN together in many ways. And today, it is this cooperation, collaboration, and commonality which I believe will show the world a stronger trade order. It was only 30 to 40 years ago that trade formed less than 5% of global GDP. Today, trade is more than 27% of global GDP. That in itself speaks of the importance of these relationships. Superimposing on that is the tremendous fact that globalization has come at an unforeseen pace with digitalization, communication, and most importantly, shared aspirations of a global citizen. It is the communication world which has brought us together. This fourth India ASEAN Expo Summit, such a tremendous success with over 100 buyers spanning over 15 sectors. The three days witnessed over 800 pre said B2B sessions and over 500 delegates. We believe this is the beginning of tremendous work and relationships to come. I want to thank and congratulate the FIKI team for the outstanding work that they've done. And I conclude by reiterating FIKI's commitment to our government's proclamation that Indian ASEAN trade target of 200 billion by 2022, which has been made by our prime minister, this will be the light and the harbinger. We will keep the flag of ASEAN and India flying high. We welcome you all once again to our country. We thank you for this tremendous program. We hope you have enjoyed your visit here, and we look forward to a great cooperation and collaboration in the days to come. Namaste and Jai Hind. FIKI, as an apex chamber of commerce and industry of India, has been at the forefront of organizing the ASEAN Expo and Summit. This event not only strengthens the traditional linkages between India and ASEAN, but also builds a new era of trade. Partner by Times Influence.